What up, you guys? What up, guys? Yeah. What you guys think, though? The vert drop top raindrop. But welcome, guys, back to the channel. Hope everybody is having a good day, especially with this craziness going on in the world. Um, hope your family is safe. Stay off the streets if you can. You guys can see I'm off the streets. I'm in the garage pretending I'm driving the drop top because we ain't got no tags on it yet, you know? So it's nice though. It's nice. I like it. I'm not going to lie. I really do like it. Always wanted a drop top. First drop top ever. Uh, but enough talk about that, guys. I wanted to help you guys out as I always do. Um, I'm making this video. So hopefully this will help somebody out. You guys got a 96 Impala. Um, maybe I want to say it'll work for 95, even the 94s. Um, with the dash cluster, a lot of times we have issues when our gauge, our gauges, and you'll have the odometer start going in and out. That's how mine started. Mine started giving me like weird readings or not to say weird readings. It would flash in and out. Sometimes it would work. Sometimes it wouldn't. And so I had to figure out what's going on with that. And then at, at one point, it just completely stopped, completely went blank. The lights came, are off now, so no more reading. We don't, we don't know where our, <laughs> our miles are at. So I found, uh, luckily for me, I'm in the B-Body community, I would call it, or brotherhood more, more than anything, guys. The guys from the club here, they <clears throat> put me in contact with one of the guys on the forums, he sells a resistor kit that goes on these um, odometer and basically replaces the stock GM resistors on the back of the cluster. So luckily for me, I will put all his contact and information and email down in the description below, guys. So check that out if you guys are interested. Make sure you get this resistor kit. It's got some really good information on it, good details, instructions, and then anything that I might miss out on the video, hopefully you guys can get it from him. Or just follow the instructions. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's got pictures and everything, labels and all that. So hopefully this video will help you guys out with that. But let me walk over to the car real quick. I'll show you guys on how to basically take it out of the car. I've already took mine out. I've actually already even did the, the soldering on the back side of the cluster. I'll show you guys the clip of that. Hopefully that will help you guys out. I took it to the workbench and did it there. Um... Yeah, let's walk over to the car real quick and stop, uh, you know, pretending in the drop top. If I can get out of here, I'm stuck. I think it needs some. I think it needs some grease in this door, huh? What y'all think? Shot collar, 20 inch blades on the Impala. Oh yeah, we ain't got no blades on here. All right guys, let me show you what's going on here. Like I said, I've already started without y'all. So you guys can see my dash is halfway off. Um, what you guys gonna need to do, obviously, lower dash has gotta come off or at least partially. You guys see, I just kind of removed it halfway off. Didn't even remove this side just enough. As long as you guys undo a couple of these screws, or it should be just seven millimeter screws, undo those. You gotta undo this guy up here too. Up here, you're gonna have two screws that hold it up there. Mine are off. I, I don't even put them back on because it just stays on. And then you're gonna have the screws in here as well that hold the actual um, cluster in there. And then the connectors, these are your two connectors from the factory harness. It should just pull right out, pop it off, wiggle out of, wiggle it out of here. Like I said, you're gonna have to play with this dash to get it to clear. Make sure your steering column is all the way down, so you guys don't have any issues there. But like I said, I've, we've already done all this work. Um, hopefully, you guys have done it too. If you guys can't get this thing out, don't try this at home because it is a little bit involved when it comes to. The soldering and, and then all that taking the resistors out but here's the video on me actually working on the back of this unit hopefully this information helps we'll come back here shortly to put this thing back in i will work on that and it should work right fingers crossed 
All right, everybody, so this is my cluster here. This is my 96 Impala cluster. We got it here at the workbench. I'm gonna show you guys kind of what you're gonna need. You're gonna need just obviously your kit, your resistor kit, along with the wire leads that come with it. A T, I wanna say it's a T15, yeah, Torx 15 screwdriver or bit, whatever you guys have to remove these bolts here, to remove this backing. Um, you're gonna need a soldering iron. You're gonna need your solder. This is just a Rosen core solder. Um, I have this guy here. This is just kind of a desoldering pin that I use just to desolder stuff. Um, sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. Whatever you guys have, sometimes you don't even have to remove the, all the solder, but it's best to. Um, probably a hot glue gun if you guys have one. Um, that's pretty much it. So it's nothing too crazy. It shouldn't be too hard, guys. Let me open this back up. Now I do want to say I'm gonna I want to say excuse me for the camera angle because I forgot my tripod. I don't have my tripod to set the camera on, and so I'm gonna do my best to show you guys what I'm doing at the angle I'm doing. So what I'll do is I'll talk about what we're gonna do, do it, and then come back and show you guys. Hopefully in detail hopefully you guys will understand if you guys have any questions put them down in the comments below let's go ahead and get started we'll remove all these kind of open this thing up you guys can almost see right here these are the resistors that are always um that control the odometer that's what we're going to take those out and so we're going to desolder those remove those and then we put this in line so we'll do that as well and then you'll feed it through these holes here up and over up and inside i'll show you here in a sec let's get this thing let's go ahead and remove this thing get started all right everyone so we got this thing open i want to show you guys before we start so you see this right here these are the resistors that a lot of times just go bad they get burnt up you can kind of almost see it looks kind of burnty smoky kind of area you know so we're going to remove all these here and then we're going to pass these lines these two leads in through this hole here come up and in and then back out here and then i'll show you guys where we got to solder them and then we'll go from there let me just, let's go ahead and take this stuff off and then get this all this gunk off um but you guys can almost see it. I'm going to tell you right now. Do you see these two leads here on the circuit board? Ooh, let me remove. Sorry, guys. So these two leads here on the circuit board, those are where your wires are going to end up being soldered. And then you're going to have one that will solder back in here. And it will jump her from there to there. So let me go ahead and get started. I'll show you guys once I'm done. And that way we can uh, see if this thing works.
Okay, yeah. So it wasn't it wasn't hard. It's not hard. It's just kind of uh, what's the word? I don't know about tedious, but you just have to have patience. So this is what we came up with. You guys saw that I had to get another piece of the black wire because the one we were trying to use it was too short. Now I will say this too that we we put the hot glue on there. They recommend the hot glue just because of vibrations and things like that keep those things from touching keep those things from moving around but you guys saw what I did here um, you want to make sure absolutely make sure that those two wire leads do not touch each other do not touch each other so if you guys get some kind of uh, um, solder or anything like that crossing over that's a no-no so make sure you guys don't have any solder there and then we came back over here and did this one here um, put a little glob of glue right there. It doesn't have to be pretty guys. It just has to hold It just helps the wire not to move around shake around with the vibrations of the core But I will say this is that you try to get these as flush as you can tuck them in so nothing So these don't get caught up in anything as well But if you guys are wondering why we had to take a blunder black wire and jump into here It'll say the instructions too by the way um it's really, if you look at the circuit, it's pretty simple. What it is, is you're bypassing this entire area where we took the resistors out of that come back all the way around here and reconnect the circuit there. So, because a lot of times this area gets burnt up and that's what happened here. And the board itself will basically, you'll have a short, you'll have an open like this one here, up here, is that that circuit will no longer be completed and then it's an open circuit and that's not gonna work. So that's why you have this jumper box, or jumper cable, I'm sorry, that jumps to this guy here to finish off that circuit. So that's kind of what's going on there. Just a heads up, but like I said, make sure these two are not touching. This will kind of stick out here. You'll kind of mount this um, wherever you can. They even give you a little bolt hole. You guys want to screw it down somewhere. Um, once you put this back in the dash, or uh, I'm sorry, yeah, back in the dash. Um, so what we're gonna do, um, I will get this back on the car and then make sure everything works, everything's tested. We'll put all this backing plate back on there. You guys don't need to see that. Um, I will also, guys, I will link the, the guy's name and contact information down in the description below so you guys know where to get this, this uh, resistor kit. So if you guys are interested, hit him up, get the resistor kit from him. Um, luckily for me, I'm in the Impala community, in the B-Body community. Uh, a couple of the guys from the car club, they actually told me where to find this kit. I thought it was pretty neat. I didn't see anything online on it. So I figured I'd show you guys a video. Hopefully this helps somebody. Um, that's kind of what I try to do, is help you guys out and save you some money, save you maybe some headaches. Because I, you can see what I went through. And I'm glad um, you guys saw the mistakes I made. I wish I would have took these leads and measured up measured them out as well make sure we had plenty of length on that cable that's going over there i screwed that up and then i i don't know why i should have pre-soldered these two cables together before i threw them through the hole through the loop here i should have done that so take all that stuff in consideration guys and hopefully this helps um, we'll get this back on the car make sure everything works we'll be right back Okay, you guys, I got the dash back in. I should say the cluster's back in. It's all plugged in. You just make sure it's seated nice and all the way back flush. Um, I got my screws all back in here. Like I said, just 7 millimeter screws. I'm not going to go ahead and put this dash back in all the way yet. Or even that bezel. We want to test it, make sure it works right. We've got the little resistor sitting right here, up here. The one we soldered, I don't know if you guys can see it, it can sit back there, it's not going to do anybody any harm. So, moment of truth, you guys, let's see. You ready? Make sure this thing works. Oh, yeah, buddy, look, it's already coming on. Hell yeah. Yes, sir, that's what I'm talking about right there. I can take that all day. Man, it's got even less miles than I thought. Shoot, I thought it had 164,000. It's only 150. Hell yeah. All right, guys, so we'll put that stuff back on, put this dash back in, and yeah. 
Well, guys, I hope this video helps anybody out there with a 94 through 96 Impala or Caprice. It should work for the Caprices. I'm not sure. Ask him. Um, I'll put his information all down in the description below, guys. Um, hit him up. Check his email out. Shoot him an email. Get this kit. Really nice kit. You guys can see it fixed our problem. It should fix yours, guys. Keep wrenching. I'm out.